This past week, I just bought more of my top high-yield dividend stock. The Altria Group, ticker symbol MO, pays me over $1,100 in annual dividend income. At current prices, the stock has a dividend yield of 8.55%. Not only does this payment appear sustainable, but it's likely to continue growing over time. Altria is a dividend king with over 53 years of consecutive annual dividend growth. In fact, they've had 57 increases in that time. Altria just held an investor day with updated future guidance and a detailed look at their strategy. Additionally, they announced a $2.75 billion acquisition of Enjoy Holdings, which is a major step to help build Altria's smoke-free portfolio. In today's video, I'll explain all the latest Altria news and share why I think the stock is a great buy right now for the long-term dividend investor. My name is Zach, this is Dividend Data, and you should leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Throughout the analysis, I will be using my own fundamental stock research tool available at DividendData.com. Become a member to research stocks just like me, along with many other features. Altria is what's known as a sin stock. The company owns multiple businesses, profiting from tobacco and nicotine-based products. This leads to a negative perception around the company, with many investors and funds ruling it out completely. However, if you look past that, these are some quality cash cow businesses. For example, Philip Morris USA is the leading cigarette manufacturer with dominant market share of 47.9%. This is led by the top brand Marlboro with 42.5% market share. That is a high margin premium brand too. Other Altria companies include US Smokeless Tobacco with dominant oral tobacco market share. John Middleton is a top pipe tobacco and cigar company. And On Nicotine Pouches is a leading oral tobacco product. For On, oral tobacco market share in the US grew 5% in 2022. Despite the decades long trend of declining smoking rates, Altria has continued to grow earnings and dividend payments. This is due to the pricing power they have around their top brands. Altria has continued to increase profit margins, offsetting the declining volume. Also, they've made investments to diversify away from their core cigarette cash cow. That has been done to varying levels of success, with some disastrous investments like Juul. More on that later. Speaking of investments, Altria just announced a $2.75 billion agreement agreement to acquire full global ownership of Enjoy's eVapor product portfolio. This includes the Enjoy Ace, which is the only pod-based eVapor product with market authorizations from the FDA. This gives Altria another shot in this vital market with an FDA-approved product and a full ownership stake. This acquisition is a key pillar of Altria's future growth strategy. They are hoping to use their massive distribution network to increase the market share of Enjoy Ace. At Altria's latest investor day, the company outlined new 2028 goals. They strive to grow total U.S. smoke-free volumes by at least 35%. More importantly, they want to double U.S. smoke-free net revenues to $5 billion. For context, Altria's 2022 total revenue sits at $20.6 billion. That would make smoke-free a sizable and growing part of Altria's total business. In addition to the Enjoy acquisition, Altria is developing more smoke-free products such as heated tobacco devices. This demonstrates their new, wholly owned operating business strategy when it comes to smoke-free products. Previously, Altria only had a minority investment stake in Juul. This is a big part of their strategy to make the core business more sustainable and have the ability to grow long-term. On top of this, they want to grow international smoke-free and non-nicotine revenue. According to their investor day, management says this is a multi-billion dollar opportunity. The team is currently developing strategies to effectively compete in non-nicotine categories. It's reported that cannabis is one of the categories they are looking to add. This is obvious and could be a giant market for Altria to enter. They have already made a strategic investment to acquire 45% of the Kronos Group, which is a Canada-based cannabis company. While that has been a financial failure, the strategic move is correct. It has also been reported that Altria could be interested in launching caffeine pouches similar to their on nicotine pouches. That actually seems like an interesting idea worth exploring. Let's be real though, Altria is not a high growth stock. 
It's a reliable cash cow trading at a low valuation. The company is trading at 10 times free cash flow with an 8.55% dividend yield. You don't need much growth to make that attractive. That said, Altria not only has a history of reliable slow growth, but the company's new guidance is reinforcing this. As part of their 2028 goal, they are aiming for mid-single digits adjusted earnings per share growth on a compounded annual basis. Additionally, they are establishing a new progressive dividend goal targeting mid-single digits dividend growth. This slightly differs from the company's prior goal of paying approximately 80% of adjusted EPS as dividends. In practice, I expect it will be similar to recent years. In a letter to shareholders, Altria's CF O stated that, quote, a strong and consistently growing dividend remains a top priority for us. All of this guidance is in line with Altria's disciplined financial history. The company has steadily grown earnings and dividends over the long term. For those wondering in these graphs, the 2007 and 2008 drop-offs are from the respective Kraft Foods spin-out and the Philip Morris International spin-out. This left Altria with Philip Morris USA. In the decades following, the growth has continued. Free cash flow per share has grown at an 8.99% 10-year compound annual growth rate. It has now exceeded levels prior to the splitting up of Philip Morris. Dividends have grown at a 7.77% 10-year CAGR. This has slowed down in recent years with the three most recent increases being 4.4%, 4.65%, and 2.38%. This payment is sustainable barring any dramatic changes. Over the past three years, Altria has generated over $8 billion in free cash flow each fiscal year. In 2022, total dividends paid amounted to $6.5 billion. Altria is a cash flow machine and they return the overwhelming majority back to shareholders. They even perform share repurchases on a regular basis. The balance sheet is not perfect, but it's strong. They have $4 billion in cash on hand and $22.65 billion in net debt. Given their strong cash flows, this isn't crazy debt, but they had emphasize that they want to lower this leverage over time. The biggest criticism of Altria is their failed investments. Over the past decade, they've repeatedly wasted billions and destroyed shareholder value. In 2016, Altria acquired a 10% stake in Anheuser-Busch and Bev. Currently valued at $10 billion, the stock has fallen around 50% in value. In 2018, Altria invested $13 billion to acquire a 35% stake in Juul. Over the following years, the value of this investment investment has been written down all the way to $250 million. Following the FDA Juul ban, Altria has now exchanged their economic equity in Juul for a non-exclusive, irrevocable, global license to Juul's heated tobacco intellectual property. The Juul saga for Altria has been an absolute disaster. In 2019, Altria invested $1.5 billion to acquire a 45% stake in the Kronos Group. The value of this has fallen massively. All of these make up Altria's terrible investment track record. However, they have been successful with their three operating companies outside of Philip Morris USA. All of these have been acquired in the past 15 years. Perhaps the Enjoy acquisition will be a success as well. Looking back, there's a strong argument that Altria should have invested less and returned more of their cash to shareholders via dividends and share buybacks. However, the company does need to invest for the future given the secular decline of the cigarette business. A Aside from the poor investment track record, there are still other major risks for investing in Altria. Most notably, government regulation is the giant weight looming over the company. This was just seen with the FDA jewel ban putting the final nail in the coffin. Additionally, Altria's revenue is overwhelmingly concentrated in the United States since the Philip Morris International spinoff. As a US citizen myself, I think that's the economy I'd like to be the most concentrated in. However, you are putting all your eggs in one regulatory basket. That said, Altria is looking to expand international revenue as I discussed earlier. So is Altria stock a good buy right now? The stock is trading at 10 times free cash flow with an 8.55% dividend yield. This is a very low multiple given the reliable slow growth. If we do a dividend discount model valuation, we can see that Altria is a strong value based on the dividend alone. 
This is a conservative model as it values the company only in the present value of future dividend payments. With the current share price of $43.97, annual dividend per share of $3.76, expected annual dividend growth rate of let's say 4%, and a discount rate of 10%, Altria stock is calculated to have a present value of $61.23. That means Altria stock is 28% undervalued at the current price. Not only is this a conservative calculation, but there is a large margin of safety here as well. In my opinion, Altria is a strong buy at current prices. In my dividend growth stock portfolio, I just purchased five more shares at a cost per share of $43.32. This brings my total to 302.9 shares valued at $13,318. This will generate $1,138 in total annual dividend income. My plan is to reinvest all of this to buy more shares, increasing my future dividend income. In April, I have over $280 in dividends from Altria. From reinvesting earned dividends, I've already gained 18.9 more shares. With Altria, the dividend snowball effect is massive. In fact, I made an entire video projecting out the dividend snowball effect for Altria's stock. The results are staggering. That said, don't listen to my analysis blindly and be sure to do your own research before making any investment decisions. Thank you for watching Dividend Data. You can sign up for DividendData.com to use my stock research software and join a Discord community of like-minded investors. Follow me on Twitter for all my latest stock buys and dividends coming in. Thanks for watching.